The Southern California band, The Wild Reeds, join us in the cafe today. Three singers, three songwriters who have been combining their voices since meeting in college. And they are releasing a new album, a very fine new one called The World We Built. Each songwriter has a distinctive style, so it kind of takes something to make everything so cohesive. And that something is the gorgeous harmonies. Uh, please welcome to the cafe, Kinsey Lee, Mackenzie Howe, and Sharon Silva. Hi. Thanks for being here. Hello. Hi. So... Uh, it, it is the question you uh, you start with, which is, tell me how you all uh, came, came together. Were you, were you each doing solo things at the time? Sort of, like we kind of aspired to, but it wasn't really anywhere past an open mic situation. And uh, when I met Mackenzie uh, in school, I knew she was a really good songwriter, but I didn't know if she did anything with it. Mm. So I was like, let's combine forces. And when was the first time, do you remember the first time you sang together? All three, three of you? All three of you, I yeah. remember being in your old bedroom like, room, yeah. So this is Mackenzie. Mm -hmm. I'm piggyback piggybacking off of what Sharon said, that I had uh, tried out for the band after Sharon and Kinsey had been playing together for a while. And I think the first time that I sang with the two of them and heard three-part between the three of us, I was totally blown away because I wasn't used to it at all. It sounds awesome. Yeah. Were the harmonies easy right away, or did you have to work on them a little bit? No, 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 no. This is Kinsey. Uh, we, they weren't easy at all. It was something that we really worked on together. Sharon and I started singing together first, and it was, it was, you know, uh, we learned each other's voices for three years until uh, Mackenzie joined the band, and then we've been. The more time we spend to get together, just speaking to each other has really improved our harmonies because we've learned each other's voices, and it's been great. Now there are a lot of love songs in what you do, but there's also, an, and I feel it creeping into a lot of the songs on here. This kind of. Uh, I'll have to call them songs of empowerment in, in some way. And um, Sharon, you've got one called Capable. And uh, yeah. if you guys could do it, I, I, I wanted to ask you, who, who, is, who is the person singing at the beginning of this? I mean, I, mean, I know it's you, but who's the voice and uh, what do they represent? Um, that's a really awesome question. I would say the voice is like my younger self. Um, when I wrote this song, I was currently failing in college. And... Uh, <laughs> It was, it was like my younger self hearing my dad, actually. Mm. The first line is, you're awful young for 21. You've got some work to do. And he's speaking to me and just kind of trying to encourage me, like, you have all these tools. Just use them. I know that you're bright. I know that you can do this. You're just lazy. <laughs> um, and so it's like the chorus is just repeating, like, you can do this, and then finally convincing yourself that you can at the end of the, the song. So I guess that's when my inner voice finally comes out yeah it's, it's a really good one so you guys can do that yeah definitely yeah, too
so much more than these people give me credit for and I just need to show you. That is the song Capable from the Wild Reeds, Kinsey Lee, Mackenzie Howe, and Sharon Silva, who wrote that song. They got a new album called The World We Built. And uh, Kinsey, you you're have a song on here um, called Fall to Sleep that I, I really like a lot. Can you talk a little bit about it before you guys do it? Yeah. Uh, Sharon and I have been at this since like December 2009. It was always like a fun hobby, and then it started turning into something that we thought we could turn into a career. We've all kept uh, jobs until... You know, seven years later, we were able to quit our jobs, and instead of just touring on spring break and in between college sessions, we were able to like really make it into something that we're ready to hustle for and turn it into a, a career. So that's what this song is about: fall to sleep. All right, wild reads. Just trying to get by Rush into our nine to fives We live at the top of the line Feet up against the window as we take a drive Staring up the stars, I'm losing sense of
That is Fall to Sleep from the Wild Reeds who are playing live for us today on the cafe. That's one from the world we built. And, uh, and Kinsey, such a, uh, such a wide uh, dynamic on that one in particular. You guys really seem to be really aware of, uh, of that. Yeah, it's something we definitely practice on and is intentional. Mm. <laughs> well, okay, well, here's, here's the group therapy portion of the interview. Um, Kinsey and Mac McKenzie. What do you like best about Sharon's writing? Oh, she's extremely passionate mm -hmm. uh, and writes very dramatic and uh, anthemic music. And I always crushed on her music for a long time growing up uh, when I used to sing backups for her. It was such a treat. Oh, all right, uh, Sh Sharon, uh, how about you and Mac pick on, pick on Kinsey and say what you like about her stuff? <laughs> pick on her. <laughs> Um, she writes very like um, uh, she writes. What is the adjective is escaping me right honest? now? Honest. Yeah, very yeah. honest and true music, but but also like like it could be in the movies, like cinematic. Ah, movie, right, right. Like movements, <laughs> like that last song. It it just. I remember when we were first jamming on it, and we didn't have a defined structure, and we just kind of kept going. We're like, we could play this song forever. This is like way too much fun. Sharon uh, and, and Kinsey, um, uh, why don't you talk a little bit about Mac, because we're going to do one of her songs next. Yeah, this is Kinsey. Uh, Mac, Mac writes extremely fun music, and uh, music that we all really enjoy playing live. And her lyrics are uh, always really beautiful um, in the way that she describes her life and her experiences. This next one in particular, um, Only Songs, happens to be very, very liberating, which I think ended up being a great theme of this record. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I mentioned that kind of idea of, uh, of empowerment, but also something about learning something about being on the road, because this, this kind of seems to be about what you guys have learned about the power of, of performing together. I definitely think that the road and performing has taught us a lot the last few years, especially about being women and what it means to be women in front of people, in front of other women, and... Um, going to other places in the country and what it means to be women in other places other than California. Um, so a lot of the record is just about our, our personal experiences, but also touring and feeling a little bit weathered and seeing the world differently and uh, feeling different about ourselves as people in the world. You know, that, I'm sorry, that's really interesting to me. Tell, me. tell me a little more about what you mean about what you've learned about um, some relationship, particularly with women in the audience. Well... I think one of our favorite demographics is young women, just because a lot of times young girls will say, like, I write songs, but I'm too afraid, and all of us are still that. We're all, we all still get nervous to show each other our songs. Um, and, you know, we've also heard the, like, you should wear less clothes, you should wear more clothes, you guys should dress differently, you should, you know, be a little sexier, or this or that. And uh, eventually you just get to a point where you're like, I'm going to do my own darn thing, and everyone's going to like it or not, you know? And I, I think that that, like, uh, authenticity, that's what people end up gravitating towards. And it's been really cool for us to have conversations with other women that are like, thank you for writing music that I can relate to deeply or cry to or <laughs> anything to, you know? That what song you're talking about is called Only Songs. Can you do that one? Yeah. Yeah.
it's not what you've got that will get you to God. No, it's not what you thought that will get you to God. No, it's not. Yeah, that is, that is uh, only songs. A great one from the Wild Reeds who are playing live for us today. And as we mentioned that's one of Mackenzie Howe's tunes. Thank you uh, for performing today. It sounded great. Thanks for having us. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Wild Reeds, thanks again. And we'll be back in a moment here on the World Cafe. <laughs> 